So today we're going to be talking about and um, win or make the Super Bowl. We're mainly going to focus on the NFC because we feel I feel like the NFC teams have the best chance and it's their conference. So we're going to start with the Los Angeles Rams. What do you think of the Los Angeles Rams' chances to beat the Eagles? What a turnaround last year, right? Yeah. Um, going into last year, I called Jared Goff a bust. I was, I was one of those guilt. I was very guilty of calling Goff a bust. At the right, looking back, um, I um like was too early to call him a bust. I think the Rams are going to be really good. They add a lot of players in the offseason: Marcus Peters, Akib Talib, um, Brandon Cooks, and Nadana Kongsu. Four Pro Bowl over players are um, are have joined one team in the offseason. Add on Jared Goff and Todd Gurley are just going to improve. Todd Gurley, I don't know if he can get any better. And Aaron Donald is obviously a beast on defense. One defensive player of the year last year from right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think the Rams are a true threat to the Eagles. I'd be interested to hear, Spence, your thoughts about uh, Jared Goff and Carson Wentz, who you thought going into the draft was a better quarterback. And now, as it turns out, which quarterback would you prefer to have, Goff or Wentz? Um, they're both elite quarterbacks. They both lived up to the hype. Maybe Goff did not in his rookie year, but he definitely did in the second year. Um, <laughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. I do not watch, watch a lot of college football. I just listened to what they said. Mm -hmm. I thought they were both really good quarterbacks. I Going into the draft, I did not see anybody as a bust. I, I can't say who I thought was better. And as for right now... I'd probably give like the slight edge to Wentz. I'm even the Rams definitely did not. I'm not gonna say the Rams made the wrong pick, but Wentz had a was not like a disaster in his rookie year like Goff. And his second year, Wentz was a true MVP candidate. Goff was like more of a dark horse MVP candidate. Right. I think they're gonna have pretty similar careers, but I would say right now Wentz is the better quarterback. But I'm not saying that the Rams made a mistake. I think they both picked the quarterbacks they want, and I think they both should be proud of their selection. That's really good analysis by you. Uh, here, let's talk about this. In the NFC East, do you see any team that can challenge the Eagles to win that division? No. Pure and simple. Washington, no. Dallas, no. Giants, no. Washington is always dysfunctional. <laughs> uh, Giants, Eli's too old, and Dallas lost a lot of pieces. All right. So in the NSC, you see the Rams as the biggest challenge for I the also, Eagles. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. I also think the Vikings are a good team. They added Kirk Cousins. Obviously, Stefan Diggs and Alan Thielen are very good receivers. They have Kyle Rudolph at tight end. I think the Vikings are also a very challenging to the Eagles. Xavier wrote, they have it. Elite defense, arguably the best in the NFL. It's either them or Jacksonville, in my opinion. That's, and maybe the Rams, of course. Um, that and Philadelphia. There's a lot of good defenses, but Minnesota has one of the best defenses in the NFL. They have Harrison Smith, Xavier Rhodes in the secondary. They have um, Efferson Griffin, Linville Joseph, um, Anthony Barr, Eric Kendricks. They have a lot of good players, and on offense they have Kirk Cousins. They have Dalvin Cook coming back. They have uh, Diggs and Thielen, receivers, Kyle Rudolph, a tight end. The Vikings are also a scary team, in my opinion. You brought something up that's very interesting. Kirk Cousins going to Minnesota for a big deal, right? He wasn't. A, he was a. He was a, a serviceable quarterback in Washington. But would you pay him a lot of money to lead your team offensively? No, he's a good quarterback, but that's a little bit too much money. That's a mm -hmm. lot of money. Mm -hmm. If I was doing a Madden rebuild, I'd definitely trade him. But that's a lot of money. Even though he's a good quarterback, he's making as much money as the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, which is Jimmy Garoppolo. I think it's because the salary cap's gone up. The Vi but I still think the Vikings paid too much. Kirk Cousins is not an elite quarterback. Tom Brady, he's not Tom Brady. He's not Aaron Rodgers. He's not Russell Wilson. He's not Drew Brees. He's not Ben Roethlisberger. He's not an elite quarterback like those guys are. Right. I would agree with that. So let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the AFC and who might come out of the AFC that could potentially challenge if the Eagles get there to the Super Bowl again. Who would be the biggest competition? You always throw New England out there. Is there another team other than New England that could be a real force from the AFC? Um. Yes, I think I think Jacksonville is a very good team. Um, I question if they will repeat last year. I don't know if Blake Bortles can repeat the magic he had last year because Blake Bortles 
really surprised me. He was probably the him and Jared Goff were like the biggest like um improvement. Improvement. They sure. both of them proved all their doubters wrong. The the Jaguars started <sighs> Chad freaking Henny <laughs> in the preseason over him. Chad Henny. Let me say that again. Chad Henny. I think they got the idea. Well, I'll tell you what, that's uh, some really good analysis by you. I really enjoyed talking football. I think football. the Steelers are also a good team. Yeah. With obvi- as always, Big Ben, Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, that's going to be a scary team. But will they repeat from last year? And obviously, New England's a contender. But right, right. with Brady and Belichick, they're, they're obviously going to be contenders until Brady retires well, and Belichick. Great analysis by you, Spence. I really appreciate the time. It was great talking with you. For Spence, I'm Neil. This has been Play-by-Play Sports Broadcasting Camp Football Show.